back to Houston growing up? What gets you into construction growing up? So I, I started out, um, grew up in San Antonio, and then my dad uh, was the, uh, became the operations director at the National War College in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And so we moved from San Antonio to D.C., and that was, that was, that was rough. Man. Yeah. How old are you when you moved? I was in middle school. Okay. Yeah, they took my cowboy boots my first day, and you know I went to school. Right. I came home on the bus with no shoes on. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was tough. And but I got out of there as quick as I could. But, but I started racing motorcycles, motocross. Okay. At Bud's Creek in, in in Southern Maryland, and then I ended up racing motorcycles all over the country as a little kid. And mm -hmm. and uh, so anyway, so I was about to turn pro, and it was kind of one of those things. You know, I never got hurt. You know, I won a lot. I got a lot of seconds. I got a lot of thirds. But, you know, I just didn't want to get hurt. And, right. uh, and you know, it was kind of getting to the point where, you know, the motorcycle crowd was not kind of, you know, my crowd at the time. And so I went, I got home from a party one night and saw the stuff that was going down at the party. And I was like, man, this, this is not me. So right. I woke my mother up and, uh, and I said, hey, I'm going to Texas A&M tomorrow morning. So I loaded up my van. I had my name on the side of my van. And full of motorcycles, hair down you know, yeah, my back yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And went to Texas A&M, like the most conservative college in, you know, in America. Right. For sure. And uh, my two brothers were going to school there. So I went to Texas A&M and um, got in the building construction program, mm -hmm. building construction, civil engineering. And uh, I was there four years. And uh, I started roofing houses, building houses, going to school. Mm -hmm. Met my wife, Tori, she's from Laredo, and uh, she had graduated a year before I did. And so we got married a couple months after we got married, boom, she wasn't supposed to have kids, and all of a yeah, sudden- Yeah, here it is, yeah. Got kids coming. So I wasn't, I hadn't graduated yet. So, you know, I was forced, I had no insurance, anything like that. And, you know, I had a framing crew, and, you know, the money was kind of like, you know, hit or miss, you know? Yeah. And so... Well, you were still going to school at this time, too, right? Yeah, I was still in college, yeah, at yeah, A&M. And so I took a job in Manhattan in Houston. And in Houston, I mean, there were tower cranes everywhere. I mean, yeah. there was so much construction going on. And so I was just thrown into the big-time, multi-story, 30-, 40-story buildings um, working for Manhattan. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I started at the very bottom as a field engineer and... You know, learn learn to do you know form work and mm -hmm. operate cranes and and so you know I I knew how to do it all and then I came up to Oklahoma I learned to estimate you know yeah. and I had all these guys working for me and we I came to Oklahoma and there was we had like maybe one job in Tulsa in Oklahoma City and then when I left Manhattan you know we were pretty much uh, our biggest competitor was Flintco mm -hmm. who's a hundred year old company just like Manhattan was but uh, we pretty much had 50-50. Yeah. You know, we had a lot of Indian casinos, um, lots of health care, lots of, like we did the BOK Center, I joint mm -hmm. venture with Flinko on that. And, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it's pretty good. But my family business just got so big and mainly it started with this hotel. And I can kind of yeah. tell you that story if you want to hear it. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. So I came so, to... So before you get into family businesses, hotels then? Our family business, we buy uh, old buildings. Okay. And uh, historic, historic buildings yeah. that we can get tax credits on. Okay. And, uh, you know, the more torn up and worthless the building is, the mm -hmm. better it is. You yeah. don't want, like, I call it like a tweener building where you don't want a building that was, you know, like built in the 60s or 70s. It right. has, like, 1980 stuff that's, mm -hmm. that's not energy efficient. It's not real reliable, but it's not ready to tear out. You want mm -hmm. something that you can tear completely out. Yeah. And so that's what we do. And we have... Uh, properties in Tulsa, Pahuska. We mm -hmm. have a 20 room boutique hotel in Pahuska, right, right next to where they're filming the movie. Yeah. And then we have properties in Lubbock, Texas.